let us discuss about the procedure of design of channels or the various steps involved in the design by Kennedy's theory. So the data required for the design will be the discharge Q, the velocity coefficient n, critical velocity ratio m, the bed slope or the b by d ratio where b is the bed base width of the channel and d is the depth of flow. Now first step assume the trial value of d flow depth in meters. Second step calculate the velocity v by using the equation given by Kennedy v is equal to 0.55 m into d raised to 0.64. Third step cross sectional area of the channel is computed by using the continuity equation a is equal to q by v. Fourth step if the side slope of the channel is assumed as 0.5 horizontal to 1 vertical the bed width b is determined by the equation a is equal to b into d plus d square by 2. So here b is the base width d is the depth of flow so a will be the cross sectional area is obtained by this equation and from this knowing a and d b is computed fifth step compute the perimeter p and the hydraulic mean radius r by using the following equations p is equal to b plus root phi into d and hydraulic mean radius r is equal to a by p which is like this. Calculate the actual mean velocity v from the cutter's equation as discussed earlier. If the value of v calculated at this step is nearly same as found at step 2, the assumed depth d of flow is correct. If not, assume another trial value of d and repeat the calculations. So this is the procedure of design of the channel by Kennedy's theory. Now, let us discuss about limitations or drawbacks of Kennedy's theory. The first thing, Kennedy has used Cutter's equation for determining the mean velocity of flow. Hence, limitations of these equations are incorporated in this method. Point number two, the significance of B by D ratio is not considered by the Kennedy. Point number three, also he did not give the equation for bed slope. Point number four, the complex phenomenon of silt transportation is incorporated in a single factor m that is CVR critical velocity ratio. The value of m that Kennedy has decided arbitrarily, there is no method to determine the value of m. The sixth point, the method involves trial and error procedure, therefore it is cumbersome. So these are the limitations or the drawbacks of this theory. Now let us take a one numerical example based on the procedure of design that we have discussed just now. So here design, the problem is design an irrigation channel to carry a discharge of 5 cumic, assume Rugosity coefficient n is equal to 0 0.0225, critical velocity ratio m is equal to 1, bed slope s is given as 0.2 meter per kilometer and side slope is to be taken as 0.5 horizontal to 1 vertical. So step 1, assume the trial depth d is equal to 1 meter and calculate the v by the equation given by the Kennedy which comes out to be 0.5 Five, 5 meter per seconds. Now obtain the cross-sectional area of the channel by the equation Q by V which comes out to be 9.09 .09 meter square. Now using the equation A is equal to BD plus D square by 2 obtain the base width B of the channel which comes out to be 8.59 meters. Now obtain the perimeter and the hydraulic radius by the equations that we have discussed earlier and obtain the well mean velocity of the flow by Cutter's equation which is already discussed so which comes out to be 0.555 meter per seconds. 
thus the velocity obtained at step 2 and step 5 they are approximately equal therefore we can say that assume depth d depth of flow d is satisfied okay, thank you